And welcome back, friends, for Reading Time with CJ. Thank you so much for joining me today so that we can read more books together. Are you ready to see what's in my magic bag of books? All right, so today the book is going to be about bones in our body. All right, so the title of this book today is called what happens when you break a bone? Susie learns about bones and muscles. Written by Samantha Harris and Devin Scott. Illustrated by Harriet Rodis. It is such a nice day to ride our bikes, says Millie, as she rides her back past Susie. I know, Millie, this is so much fun, replies Susie. Susie, make sure to hold both handlebars on your bike. Daddy shouts to Susie as he waters the pretty flowers in the front yard. Okay, Daddy, calls Susie. Millie, do you want to race to the bottom of the driveway? I know how to ride my bike really fast, Susie exclaimed. Okay, Susie, but promise not to get mad when I win, Millie says with a giggle. No, I'm going to win, Susie replies. On your mark, get set, go! Both girls race to the bottom of the driveway. As they are riding, Susie starts to feel her legs getting a little wobbly and then crash. Susie falls from her bike and scrapes her knee on the pavement. Susie, oh no, are you okay? Millie asks as she races her bike over to Susie. No, I am not okay. I think I broke my leg, Susie says between sobs. Daddy quickly realizes that Susie is hurt and rushes over. It's okay, Susie. Let me take a look. Daddy is a doctor that fixes bones called an orthopedic surgeon. He looks at Susie's knee and sees that she only has a scrape. Susie, you do not have any broken bones, but we can clean your scrape and put a pretty yellow bandage on your knee. But Daddy, how do you know I haven't broken a bone? What are bones anyway? Great question, Susie. Bones are the part of the body that makes up the skeletal system and helps to protect us. Some examples of bones are the clavicle, humerus, ribs, and femur. Do bones help us move? Yes, Susie, your leg muscles called quadriceps and hamstrings. When you want to walk, your brain calls your muscles and your muscles move your bones. What are bones made of anyway, Susie asks. Bones are made of calcium. Calcium can be found in foods like dark leafy vegetables and those that have milk in them like the cheese from cheeseburgers or the yogurt we have for breakfast. Some kids in my class cannot have milk because it makes them sick. But can they still get calcium by eating foods like almonds or by drinking oranges, says Millie? You are absolutely right, Millie. It is important for you and Susie to eat lots of foods that have calcium so your bones can grow big and strong. I understand, says Susie, but what happens when we break a bone? Does it really, really, really hurt? Yes, Susie, sometimes it really does hurt. Daddy says with a laugh, when a bone breaks, this is called a fracture. Most fractures can be fixed by a doctor called an orthopedic surgeon. Daddy, that is the kind of doctor you are. Do you see kids that have broken bones, Susie asks. Yes, I do, Susie. When children come to see me, I look at their fractures and together with their mommies and daddies, we come up with a plan to fix their bones. Doctors can use special pictures to look at the bones. They are called x-rays, says daddy. Some children with fractures need surgery to fix their bones, while other children need a cast. A cast will hold the bones in place and keep it safe until it's all better. Wow, daddy, I'm really happy that you get to fix broken bones, says Susie. And I'm happy that you are okay, Susie. I will go and get a bandage for you, Millie says. That is very kind of you, Millie, Daddy says. I think that my patient Susie and my doctor Millie deserve some ice cream. 
Daddy, does ice cream have calcium in it? Says Susie. Wow, girls and boys, what an awesome book. I hope you learned a little bit more about the bones in our body from this book. If you'd like to purchase this book, you can find the link to this book in my description box below. Thank you so much for watching, girls and boys, and I can't wait to see you again next time. Bye-bye.